I mean, I'm a Manchester United fan and have been for 40 years of my life, but I'm disgusted, absolutely disgusted. I'm disgusted with Manchester United and Liverpool most. I mean, Liverpool, they pretend, you know, you'll never walk alone, the people's club, the fans' club. Manchester United, 100 years, born out of workers around here. And they're breaking away into a league without competition that they can't be relegated from. It's an absolute disgrace. And honestly, we have to wrestle back the power in this country from the clubs at the top of this league. Suffice to say that news about Manchester United's 3-1 win over Burnley is not the most important thing this morning anymore. After Man United last night officially announced on their website that we are one of the 12 founding members of a new European Super League, which is going to tear football up. It's going to tear Manchester United up. And as Gary Neville said there, it's effectively going to wipe the history of Manchester United as we know it. Thank you very much to the Glazers. Thank you very much to the Premier League for allowing people like the Glazers, like Abramovich, like Kroenke to buy the clubs in the Premier League. If you let the wolves in the door, at one point they're going to eat you. So they cannot be surprised by what is happening, but it's going to destroy football as we know it. If you don't really know what has happened, I'm sure you do, but I'll run through it now. Manchester United put an official statement out on their website last night. Here's that statement saying 12 of Europe, Europe's leading football clubs have today come together to announce they've agreed to establish a new midweek competition, the Super League. AC, Arsenal, Atletico, Chelsea, Barca, Inter, Juve, Liverpool, City, United, Real Madrid and somehow Spurs have all joined as founding clubs. Goes on to say that this formation has come at a time when the global pandemic has accelerated the instability of existing economic model of football, blah, blah, blah. 20 club competition, 15 founding clubs, no relegation, no anything. You're just involved because you're a top club. It's the death of Manchester United as we know it if this goes ahead. Now, I, I went to bed last night in the hope that this was just posturing. From, uh, from all the top clubs against UEFA, a political power play that they were going to use to try and uh, swing a better deal with UEFA, who are set to announce changes to the competition today. But now that all 12 clubs have released a statement together <clears throat> about this, it's just become a hell of a lot more real. And I don't really know what to say other than what you already have heard because it is the death of football. It is the death of Manchester United as we know it. And just in case you didn't know what the Glazers' intentions were, take a look at this. It's a statement on Man City's website. And whose name is that? Ah, Joel Glazer, co-chairman of Manchester United and vice-chairman of this new Super League. Florentino Perez, the Real Madrid president, he's the... President, and who is co -pre It's Joel fucking Glazer. The Glazers, the greedy goddamn Glazers. Ever since 2005, all they've done is leech money out of Manchester United, and all they're doing right now is they are tying a noose around our neck against the foundations of what this club, the competition, everything, the lifeblood of what football is. And they're doing it because they can make more money. So it, it can't come as a surprise to anybody that this happens. When you let people like the Glazers, like Kroenke, like Abramovich, foreign owners come in who have, they do not care about the club they are buying. They care about the money they are making. You let them in, at some point, you're biting off your nose to spite your face. So the Premier League cannot be surprised that this is happening. But to see it happening is a different thing altogether. And I... I'm blown away by it. I, I, I like to think still that this is just going to be an ugly, ugly power play that gets superseded, that it, nothing really goes ahead. But the fact that all 12 clubs have released a statement on this, that sent shockwaves around. And that's really, really shocked me in terms of whether I think it's really genuinely going to happen or not. Not even Fergie releasing a little statement ha had any sort of impact. And Fergie stayed so damn quiet throughout this whole time. He hasn't said anything. But I cannot believe what I'm, what, what I'm witnessing. I, I, for me, it's the death of Manchester United. It really is. Look, for, yet, for Ever since 2005, 16 years we've been owned by the Glazers. And, and 16 years we've, we've been nothing more than a cash cow for them. 
This is the ultimate cash cow power play. The ultimate move that is such an utter disregard to what fans want for their clubs, the connections that football fans have with their clubs, the reason that we have those connections, the nights that those Champions League, those European nights have given us, those memories, it's all going to be wiped away for a sanitised, effectively money version of the Hunger Games, where every week the best in the world are going to compete in two groups of 10. Look, this is what it says about the competition. On August start, with clubs participating in two groups of 10, playing home and away fixtures with each top three qualifying for the quarterfinals. Get the fuck out of here, man. The numbers involved in it are staggering. I've read on the New York Times last night, you're looking at figures of around 400 million plus just for being involved. And the pandemic, the reason this is happening probably now or has been accelerated to where it is now is because of the pandemic. I think uh, those top 12 clubs as a combined figure, uh, Swiss Ramble put a number out, they lost about 1.2 billion between them. So that's why they're doing this, because money is all that fucking matters to them. They don't care about history. They don't care about memories. They don't care about winning anything. They can try and put it down at, oh, it's a chance to win your biggest European company. No, they don't give a fuck about that. All they want to do is make as much money as quickly as possible, as consistently as possible. And that's what this Super League might offer them. But I don't know whether I can continue being a Manchester United fan at the end of this. Look, it, FC United Manchester existed after 2005 when the Glazers bought the club and so many fans were so disillusioned with that ownership that they went and they started their own club. I would really struggle to properly support Manchester United if they do something where they effectively stab football in the back just to make more money. And seeing Joel Glazer's name on a statement on City's website has really pissed me off. Really pissed me off because it's just it, it's just a blanket statement that's gone out across all these 12 founding members. And it's just an utter disregard for the fans. An utter, I mean, it's not as if we've been remembered at any point re really, you know. Football is nothing without the fans they say. <laughs> Football is also nothing without the clubs involved in it. And as far as I'm concerned, if Manchester United really do go ahead with this and the fact that they put that statement out, it's a it's a huge step. It's a step that makes it far far more official because when it when it comes to political power plays against like if you're trying to get some power back in a in a negotiation or a conversation, yeah, that happens. But seeing a combined statement from all twelve clubs at the same time with the same statement, that's a hell of a power play. If it is just a power play, because United have already now announced our involvement in it. And I hope to fuck that it doesn't go ahead and it collapses in their faces and that this has been something that has been worked on for so long in the background and it fails miserably. That would be brilliant. But for me, this is a direct consequence of the... Pre look, and if you look at the foundations of the Premier League, the foundations of the Premier League were based on money. So this is just an evolution of that situation. It's just that this one is outside of the Premier League's control and therefore they don't like it. But when you let owners into the Premier League who are not fit for purpose, how the hell the Glazers passed that test? I don't know. They didn't even have the money to buy the club, let alone being fit owners. But when you let people like the Glazers in and you let people like Abramovich in and you let people like Kroenke in, this is what you get. The preconditions for this were set by the Premier League by allowing foreign owners to just use clubs as cash cows, as little toys for them to make money on. Now, this is the ultimate way that they are going to make money, which is exactly why they have signed up to it and exactly why they want it to go ahead. But as far as football fans, as far as we're all concerned, it's the ultimate, ultimate move away from what we love about our club what we'd love about Manchester United and the competitions that we've earned our way into, that we've fought our way into. And could you imagine what Matt Busby, so Matt would be thinking about this, really genuinely, because 
it could not be more extreme. Back in 58, back when he wanted to be one of the pioneers of European competition and he saw the he saw how important it was for United to be playing against the best in Europe. And to go from that to this, it's the death, as I said, I'll put it in the thumbnail, I'll put it in the title, it's the death of Manchester United as far as I'm concerned. When you take away that, that competition, that factor of competition, and you just create a money-driven league where apparently the best in the world just play each other in some sort of exhibition. It's like the World Eleven against European Eleven games. Is it dead? It's completely and utterly dead. Now, I'm going to be having plenty more reaction about that. This is just, I suppose, my my opinion on it. Um, I didn't want to do it last night because all the official news wasn't out and then it will all come out now. So this is my immediate reaction. I think Gary Neville was completely right in everything he he said. Uh, and he, he, he said it better than any... Any of us will be able to eloquently present. But I don't know what else to think. I don't know what else to say. I, As I said, I hope this doesn't end up going through. But the fact that they've released that statement altogether. I don't know what to think anymore. Let me know what your reaction to the news is in the comments below. I'll be following up with plenty more about the European Super League. But is this the death of Manchester United as we know it? And if it is, thank you very, very much to the Glazers for the slow death that you've given us over the last 16 years. And fuck you. <laughs>